I don't know what it is about the ocean, but it's just kind of creepy sometimes. I like water just as much as the next person, but the ocean is kind of pushing it. For real guys, the ocean is an amazing, mysterious place, obviously, with secrets we have yet to uncover. Sometimes we find the secrets, and they're pretty disturbing. Sometimes the secrets even wash right up on the shore. My name is Danny Burke, and this is the top 10 scary things found in the ocean. Very quickly, I just want to alert you guys to the fact that we have brand new merch. This was only possible because you guys showed so much interest in our previous designs. So now we have new designs on our shirts, hoodies, and so much more. Go and see what your favorite is over at mostamazingshop.com. The link to that will also be in the description box. My favorite is the black shirts, but then everything I own is black, as you guys can probably tell from watching this video. Should probably start wearing more color. Starting off at number 10 now, we have Truck Lagoon. This is the world's biggest ship graveyard. It's a site of a World War II battle between the US and Japan. At the bottom of the lagoon now lie 60 warships and 200 aircraft frozen in time beneath the waves. Divers have found many skeletons of the dead soldiers, sailors, and airmen who died in that battle. These days though, Truck Lagoon is a popular area for tourists, with only some of them aware of what lies lurking in the nearby waters. Coming in at number 9 now, we have Manfred Bjorat. In 2016, the mummified body of Manfred Bjorat was found by fishermen on a yacht floating off the Philippines. I just want to warn you guys, the picture you're about to see is pretty graphic, so skip ahead now if you don't really want to see that sort of thing. Manfred was found like this slumped at his desk in a mummified state. He had been sailing around the world on his yacht for about 20 years. It's thought from the way he was sitting that death was unexpected, perhaps from a heart attack. His mummified state may have been caused by the dry ocean winds, hot temperatures, and salty air. All right, next up at number eight now, we have the Gulf of Cory Vrecken. This is a constant, massive whirlpool of death off the coast of Scotland. It's caused by a series of complex tidal forces and geology that combine to create this swirling pool of death. A documentary team once equipped a massive mannequin with a life jacket and a depth gauge. They threw it into the whirlpool where it was sucked down. They wondered if it would ever come back up again, but eventually it did. The depth gauge told them it had been all the way down to over 650 feet. So yeah, don't go near that thing. Ever. All right, moving on to number seven now, we have the Korean ghost ships. Every year, ghost ships with bodies show up on Japanese shores. When this first started happening a few years ago, everyone was confused as to exactly where they came from. Then it became clear they were coming from North Korea. At first, people thought the bodies were fishermen who were trying to escape North Korea, but when some ships were found with live crewmen, the men said they wanted to be taken back to North Korea. It turns out the ships are just old and keep being pulled out to sea with no GPS to get back. Okay, coming in at number six now, now we have the Titanic. You guys may have heard of this ship before. The passenger liner sunk on its maiden voyage from the UK to the USA on April 15th, 1912, resulting in the deaths of over one and a half thousand people. For over 70 years, the location of the wreck was unknown. And then, in 1985, its remains were found on the seabed. Diving crews that have been there have returned with haunting pictures of this watery grave. It's drawn even more attention since the famous Titanic movie of 1997. Seeing these pictures are kind of disturbing for some people. It makes the whole thing feel a bit too real. All right, next up at number five now, we have the Mariana Trench. This is the deepest point of the Earth's oceans. Its maximum known depth is 10,994 meters. That's over 36,000 feet. You'll notice that I said maximum known depth there. That's because scientists aren't even 100% sure how deep it really goes. Every decade, the number seems to get revised. Experts were shocked to find creatures living in the trench. This was very surprising to them. They thought that life couldn't exist exist there because of the immense pressure. The fish and crustaceans that have been found in these mysterious depths look just as strange as you'd expect. His name is James, James Cameron, the bravest pioneer. No budget too steep, no sea too deep. Who's that? It's him, James Cameron. Alright guys, moving on to the number 4 spot now, we have the Great Blue Hole. This is a giant sinkhole off the coast of Belize in Central America. While the edges of the hole are relatively shallow, the hole itself plummets to a depth of 407 feet. The formation of it has taken place over the past 153,000 years. At one point, it was just an open air cave before being flooded by seawater. Divers are allowed to visit it if they have 24 hours of diving experience, however many people are put off by the ominous feeling of the depths 
depths below them. All right, next up at number three now, we have the Ice Finger of Death. The real name for this phenomenon is called Brinicle. It's a downward growing hollow tube of ice of descending salt water that forms in extremely cold ocean temperatures. The icy finger will work its way down to the bottom of the shallow water, and when it gets there, it spreads out to freeze everything in its path. The BBC actually captured some incredible footage of it doing just this. Starfish and sea urchins were frozen solid when touched by the icy finger. Moving on to the number two spot now, we have the anglerfish. It's widely agreed that this fish is perhaps the scariest fish in the ocean. At first glance, the anglerfish already looks scary. They live in complete darkness, about a mile underwater, in an area known as the midnight zone. They use a lure on their heads that's lit up by bioluminescent bacteria to attract other creatures. Its prey think they found a shiny fish in the ocean depths to eat, but when they get close, the anglerfish is there to greet them with a toothy mouth straight out of hell. And finally, at number one now, we have Thonis Heracleon. This is the lost underwater city that was discovered in the early 2000s off the coast of Egypt. Until then, historians had only heard about it in ancient texts. They presumed it had been lost forever or perhaps didn't even exist. They found incredible Egyptian relics there, including this 5.4 meter tall statue of the god Happy. In these murky depths among the fishes, archaeologists have found gold coins, stone monuments, and slabs with ancient texts carved on them. They've been exploring the area ever since, but even today, it's thought that 95% of this city lost in time is still yet to be discovered. All right, guys, that is my rundown of the creepy and mysterious things found below the waves. Now, I want to know what video do you want to see next on the channel? We're always open to suggestions here at Most Amazing Top 10, so don't be shy. Let us know. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>